DuckTales Season 2, Episode 1. Today, man, we starting the first episode of Season 2, man. So, yeah, if y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. You ain't subscribed already. Now, before we get started, man, I have Terrence Crawford fans or supporters. They're writing me. They telling me, Marlo, it, it's not happening. Just leave it alone. You're steady talking about it. Won't you stop? No. Is it December 10th yet? No. How many days do we have this to December 10th? Then that's <laughs> then I'll think about stopping it. Nigga. Fuck wrong with these niggas. Terrence Crawford got the motherfucking. I'm giving them that pressure, right? Forefront giving Terrence Crawford the pressure he deserved because he did some fuck shit and way was wrong us. Just like if somebody popular or famous pass away a week or two, everybody just move on. And that's how they want me to do this Terrence Crawford situation. Move on. Well, I'm not moving on. That nigga duck. Terrence Crawford did some foul ass shit and I ain't gonna stop talking about it till I fucking feel like I, I guess niggas wasn't here to hear me say that so they skipping, trying to skip past the book. No, nigga, you have to read all, you gotta watch all seasons. Read all chapters. That's why you niggas don't learn shit now because niggas always wanna skip past through the book pages to the good part or, 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 you know, fast forward the goddamn movie. You can't fast forward these episodes. You gotta watch every episode. Binge watch this shit. Now, anyway, Terrence Crawford for a fucking duck. He told Earl Smith, Earl, do you wanna see a magic trick? And then he just disappeared out of negotiations. And, and all of a sudden, he, he, he in a fight with anesthesia amnesia. This nigga is a disgrace to boxing. Then he came out here, did his live, because he feeling the pressure. Y'all, YouTubers, just say the names who you talking about. It is what it is, bro. I ain't stopping this shit. Fuck them niggas. And you bitch-ass nigga get in my comments talking about, just stop, stop, just stop it. They're not fighting. No. It's not December 10th yet. Yeah, he still got to go through his whole camp. But it is what it is, man. That shit turns Crawford did, man. That shit was foul, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's Tuesday morning, man. I'm just thinking about it. Like, you know, I told people I, I wasn't going to stop with this shit, so I got to keep going. That shit that man did was foul. He ducked that man. And, and some people just don't seem to understand what really happened. Oh, man. Another thing people like to say, oh, man, they can fight. They can still fight next year. Yeah, they can, but but what if he get his ass dropped or he 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 wants to retire after this fight? For a nigga that to came out here and told us they try to fuck him over, what makes you think they ain't gonna fuck you over again? So why is you willing to come to the table if the shit was so bad? Well, it must have not been as bad as he said it was. If he's willing to come back to the table and, and do some negotiations. You put these on them, these people on blast, and and you slick trying to ruin a relationship and burn a bridge, so you won't have to walk back across that motherfucker. That's basically what he's doing. He don't want to walk back, back across that bridge because he know once he go back across that bridge, ain't no coming back anyway. So he rather just burn that motherfucker. I ain't going that direction because he know he he he, he go across that bridge. He might not come back with his eyesight. And that's what it be like sometimes when you go into the wrong direction, when you make the wrong turn, when you walk across that wrong bridge. You know what I'm saying? This nigga turns Crawford. He amazed me with how much shit he talked leading up to this fucking fight as if he was so much of a big dog. Soon he got in the negotiations where Earl, Spence, Earl pulled his whole car. What's up? You know what I'm saying? He wanted to smoke. Now, all of a sudden, it's about the money. It's all about the Benjamins. You said you ain't give a fuck how much money it was. You just wanted to put your hands on somebody. I'm angry all the time. Well, you angry duck. 
Well, what happened? What happened then? You don't want to put your hands on a nigga no more? You ain't trying to swim no more? Oh, uh, but you want to... See, Terrence Crawford, one of them bully-ass niggas. He want to put his hands on somebody. He he know he, he can leave that motherfucker unscathed. He, he don't want to... You know, you know how bullies be. Now, you never see a bully fighting another bully. They always trying to put, pick on somebody lesser than them. That's Terrence Crawford, you fake bully ass nigga. Now we got a nigga over here who ready for the smoke on the shit just as bad as you think you on. And then all of a sudden you tuck your tail. Your tail go between your legs and shit. You walking funny. Just like the duck you is. Feet squeaking. Squeak, squeak. While your tail tucked, and you don't want no smoke with this man. He wanted that action. And you went off on some whole shit. I'm on that nigga ass. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And turn Scrubber fans, stay y'all bitch ass out of my shit asking me to stop. Because I ain't stopping, nigga. I told you that. If you want to watch something else, take your bitch ass to another channel. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Well, anyway. But it's a fucking disgrace. This shit just put a fucking mark on his, on his, on his, um, his dynasty. You know what I'm saying? This shit just, this shit made him look so bad to the point where it, it's going to be hard for him to recover from this situation. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just looking at it all angles. Like, how could you come back from this type of situation? Because you just pulled a whole move, right? But then after you dunked this soft-ass fight, they put a mic in your face. And then you come back and, and then try to sound all tough again. Who gonna believe that shit? Because I ain't. Gotta be the dumbest niggas in the world. The niggas that already believe the shit you're doing right now. Them the ones that's gonna believe that shit. They, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker who got common sense, they ain't gonna believe that shit. They like, damn, bro. Now you back on the... You back on the tough shit. You, you want to put your hands on somebody again now, huh? <laughs> you remember you went around him, man. Went around him. That mean you ain't want to crash as bad as you want to crash, man. I'm looking at the whole fucking Bud, Duck Sauce, Crawford team. I'm looking all them niggas sideways right now. Even Bo Man. Where the fuck is, is Barbecue Man? Where the fuck he been at? He ain't been doing no interviews. He said Earl Smith was living check to check. All this old faggot ass shit he was saying. You know, then you got soft ass Bernie. Oh, he gonna be, he gonna nut Earl Smith. Where all these hoe ass niggas at? Where Bo Man? Barbecue. Nigga, it's cold outside. What fuck you doing barbecuing for, man? Ain't no time to be barbecuing, nigga. He the only nigga outside barbecuing in a t-shirt and it's fucking 30 degrees outside. <laughs> so, uh, well, let me guess, he got the inside barbecue grill to where he barbecuing on the inside. Because he don't use no air fryer. He ain't no air fryer type of nigga. He's a barbecue grill type of guy. Where the fuck is he? He ain't talking like he used to no more. All them niggas went. All them niggas attitude changed when it came to this fight. All they, all they, uh, they coach Bo Mac, barbecue man, Bernie, left them in the dust. All these whole ass niggas attitude changed when it came to this fight. And now all of a sudden, you know, niggas fighting anesthesia and amnesia. Where all that tough shit go now? That's what I be talking about. But it is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You ain't subscribed already. And I'm out, child. Deuces. Another episode of DuckTales. I'm out.